Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy from Tuition Up and today I'm going to share with you my five top tips for really good creative description. Top tip number one is to use your senses. So I like to do this using a really good image. So something from Pobble 365 or Once Upon a Picture is a really good place to start. Once you've got your image, you're gonna imagine you're inside that picture and you're gonna look around you, look what you're standing on, look what's behind you, above you, in front of you. You're gonna use your senses. So what can you see, what can you hear, what can you smell, what can you touch, and maybe even what can you taste in the picture. Why do we need to use our senses? Because it gives the reader, when they read our writing, a really vivid and memorable image and picture of what it's like. Top tip number two is to be precise. Here's an example of what I mean. First sentence in red. The man sipped his drink as he stroked his dog. So we're gonna look at the nouns here. We've got man, we've got drink, and we've got dog. They are very, very general nouns. They're not specific, they're not precise. If we switch them around, we get a clearer picture in our head. So instead of man, we have the teacher sipped his cocoa as he stroked his poodle. Doesn't that give you a better picture in your head? Let's try another one. The politician sipped his wine as he stroked the Rottweiler. Much, much better. Be precise with your nouns. It gives your reader a much better picture of your writing. Top tip number three is to use show, not tell in your writing. This increases the reader's engagement and allows you to describe something much more clearly. So for example, here we've got somebody holding a spider. So the emotion that we are going to show and we're not gonna tell is fear. Okay, so rather than saying she was scared, she was afraid, she was petrified, we're going to use show not tell. So how would the person holding the spider show us that they are afraid? Let's think about their face first of all. What would they, what would they do with their face? What would they do with their body? And how would their voice tell us that they were afraid? So they might be kind of grimacing, um, they, might not, they might be turning away or looking away, um, they might be breaking out in a sweat, uh, their voice might start to shake or quiver, they might scream or shout, or they might go completely silent. So always to show, not tell, that somebody is afraid. Top tip number four for creating really good descriptions is to vary your sentence lengths and their structure. And the reason for this is because if we always use the same length, it gets really boring, really monotonous for the reader, and they can fall out of interest with your writing really easily. So using long sentences, often using subordinating conjunctions, I've got some examples here. We've got this mnemonic, I saw a wabob to help you remember them. So if, since, as, when, after, while, although, because, until, and before. These are really good ways to link two clauses and have a very interesting longer sentence. Shorter sentences have their place as well, especially when it's coming up to the climax of a story or a way to build suspense. So vary your sentence types if you want to create really good description. Top tip number five is to read, read, read and more reading. Everything you read will help inform your memory, will give you more vocabulary and will help you be able to create these more interesting descriptions. If you like the video and you feel like you learned something, please like and subscribe to my channel and then you'll know when the next one's out. See you next time. Bye.